It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wacker Rush Gaming. So, we got the Project Dominion launch in many states this week. With that, a whole new level of crazy has happened. Survivors has been infected with a new virus and are going crazy for tiger coins and tiger meat. I call this virus the State of Statues, aka SOS. All this in the quest to get those unknown rewards. Did you know you don't need to play in all the Reservoir Raid games in order to reach the top rewards? So, in today's video, I'm going to share with you 5 key things that you need to know about this event that will get you that permanent tiger statue without too much stress. If you find this content helpful, do subscribe and smack the like button for more meaty content. Project Dominion is the latest world event in State of Survival and will last for 10 weeks. It's a total reboot from previous world events and the feedback from those that had it already ain't too great. So if you have any complaints about this crappy event, please send to Dark Kitty aka HeCat. I'm sure Catzilla aka Dark Kitty aka HeCat will be delighted to hear from you. Nevertheless, your main focus in Project Dominion is two things, obtaining tiger coins and tiger meat. The tiger coins that you are collecting can be used to grab some juicy materials in the kitty store. Similar to the previous world events, you are never going to be able to grab every single materials in the store, since you will never have enough coins even if you were to religiously complete and participate in every single event during the 10 weeks. Separately, don't be a silly kitty to empty your store now. As you feed your tiger the meat, you will be able to unlock higher rewards level. So hold on to your coins until later unless you are truly desperate. This automatically brings us to the tiger meat. As you are completing the task, you are also rewarded with some tiger meat. You need to use the tiger meat to upgrade your big kitty, which will not only unlock more rewards in the kitty store for you, but also gives you some special buffs during the duration of the event. By clicking this button here, you will find all the amazing buffs that you will be able to achieve as your tiger grows up. The most important thing to note is that the tiger statue becomes permanently yours when it reaches level 50. Now, many survivors are not only going crazy about these buffs, but are totally going bonkers to ensure they can participate in all the events for this statue. So, with the help of our amazing Sid from State 671, Sam from State 718, thank you both for your continuous help and support. The Jumping Gorilla Discord team were able to put this chart together. They took all the information available to them and they created this amazing chart which you can find in the Jumping Gorilla Discord. You can find more information in the Jumping Gorilla Discord using the link in the information below. There are some freaking amazing tricks and tips that I would like to show you. However, before that, I would like to introduce you to the sponsors of today's video, Paxify. Paxify offers State of Survival players 10% to 25% discount in-game. Many State of Survival players have already been using them and have given some amazing feedback. Thanks to their amazing service, many survivors are already saving a lot of money. Make sure to check out the link in the description below and make your monies go further than ever before. Now, my main tips for all of you is please don't go crazy and stress yourself out as you fight for the meat to feed your kitty. Let me explain to you how you are going to get more meat than you actually need. So, in total, you will need 21,120 meat to achieve a level 50 kitty cat. As the event duration is for 10 weeks, assuming you have fully participated in all the events, hitting all the objectives the first month there will be alliance throwdown which will reward you with 1456 meat per week and that's 2912 meat per month survival of the fittest event will reward you with 4456 meat per month state versus state will reward you with 1376 meat per month daily from intel and infected fian rallies you can get 56 meat per day this over four weeks that's another 1,568 meat per month. This over 4 weeks, that's 10,312 meat. Over 8 weeks, that's 20,624 meat. 
Finally, in the last two weeks, you will have Alliance Throwdown, which will reward you with 1,456 meat. State vs. State will reward you with another 1,376 meat. Then, daily over 14 days, that's another 784 meat, giving you a total of 24,240 meat across the 10 weeks duration of the event. However, you will only need 21,120 meet for a level 50 kitty cat so i hope folks can now take a chill it's okay to miss some events and you will still be able to get the meat you need to grab the precious tiger statue finally for those of you who are still here i'm going to share with you one final secret do you see this objective here there is a weekly objective for you to hit and get some amazing rewards as you can see this if I hit the objective for this week, that's 10,000 free tiger coins for me to be used in the kitty store. Next week, there is a free statue to grab by hitting another objective. So, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notifications bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.